Hi, my name is Chris Ryan and you've joined me at Drayton Park Golf Club today with my friend John. Hi Chris. Hello John. Um, I've done a couple of videos with John before, you may well have seen those, did those in his swing studio. But what we're going to do today, as it's kind of getting towards spring and the weather's getting a bit better, we're going to get on the golf course and we're going to do a nine hole course vlog. So we're going to do this in three parts. This is the first part and we're going to play the back nine. Yep. Uh, which apparently is a bit better. I think so, a few interesting holes, yeah. Perfect, so I have played this course before, but it's probably a good 12 or 13 years ago, so hopefully I'll remember some of the holes Big as I get. Big dog leg left this one, Chris. Yeah, Big yeah, dog yeah, leg it looks left. pretty straight to me. <laughs> right, so we're gonna hopefully give you an insight as to how we plot our way around the course, the clubs we use, how we're gonna play each shot, and hopefully you'll get a little bit from it. Right, you ready? Yep, let's go. Cheers. Right, so have you won the honour? <laughs> I've got this one, got yeah, the first hole, I've got the honour. As, as My your, course. Your course, I'll let you go first. <laughs> Right, so we've got um, we've got GC2, which we're going to use for a couple of the shots on the course, just so you get an idea of the data. Um, so we're both going to drive down this hole. It's 300 and, well, from here it's... 390. 390. So both in drive. It looks pretty straight, doesn't it, down there? Yeah, it's pretty straight, this one. I think it favours just being a little draw off the right bunker you might be able to see in the distance. Uh, the second shot's the interesting one, actually, with water leaking on the right and bunkers coming in on the left. So we uh, need to be on the fairway, really. Right, go for it then. Right. Play well. And you? Not too well. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Beautiful. You've been practicing off. all morning. I have. Draw off the right bunkers you, for you. You told me you were coaching all morning. <laughs> You've been practicing. Get the ball in the right spot. You got it. Okay. So a little draw that one. That was perfect. Good numbers on that one. We got yeah, pretty good. Launch angle 13.4. Backspin 2,400. Pretty Started good. right. Little draw. Perfect. We'll put those numbers up on the screen so we'll be able to see those. Right, I'm gonna try and basically do the same as you then. Not great. Hopefully I'm going to get lucky down there. So probably not as good as numbers there, but we shall see. Just a little low on the launch angle. 7.8 launch. Yeah, Pretty good spin. It. Just going a little left at target. A little? You're being generous. <laughs> Got a bit lucky here, Chris, but uh, I knew, <laughs> luck favours the... I knew it was uh, safe. I knew it was safe. <laughs> so Chris has got 154 yards to the pin. The pin's uh, towards the back of the green, but quite central from left to right. Yeah, it's in the middle, isn't it? It's just to the yeah. back, really. So I'm going to hit nine iron, which I, I know I can't go long, so I can pretty much be Perfect. pretty committed to it. Yep. I haven't got to worry, but this tree might catch me a follow through. I think it's okay. I'm okay back to Yeah, you back. look all right there. As you said, very lucky. No, fun for it. <laughs> It's gonna miss on the right. Just leaked it a bit right, didn't I? Seems like it's the right club, just a bit right. Chip it up. Right, what have you got, John? Uh, I think it's pretty similar yardage. I think yeah. a, a yard less or so than you. Slightly better position off the tee. Slightly this <laughs> Hey diddle diddle this one, right down the centre. I'm putting this on the stats. God, I expect this to be close though. So eight iron for me at 153. Not quite as long as you, but straighter, of course. All right. Okay. <laughs> Going to catch a bit of the green, I think. Yeah. Not the best strike. That's pretty safe. That's pretty safe. Sorry, keep putting. I am. You're putting. I'm chipping. You're putting. So you're ahead of me. So here's Chris, just missed the green on the right side. Got a very difficult chip shot here, Chris. The lie's good, I, I kind of want to play it high, but that those trees are in the way. I'll just so try and show. Kind of, I'm going to have to try and, so I've got a nine iron, I'm going to try and use the bank and just roll it up onto the green. 
I mean, I'm relying on the bounce. So anything within anything within 12 feet, I'm probably okay with. Just give myself a chance. At oh, it. definitely. I Let's mean, see it. it. Let's see it. That was pretty good, that Chris. Bit of a bounce right, didn't it? Yeah, not bad there. It's all right. It just kicked a bit right, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kicked a little right, situation. but I think you'll take it from there yeah, and about pin high. Yeah. It'll be right. Give a put. Okay, so that's where John's second shot ended up. Uh, pretty good for Mary Wise. Missed it a bit right, and a bit short. She's got 35 feet, but not an easy putt because there's a little bit of a sort of break halfway. You'd be pretty happy with a two putt from here, I think. He certainly would now. So he's got a little bit left work to do. So my ball is, well, my marker's just down there. So I've got that left for my par. And John's left himself probably four feet. Okay. A bit of moving on it. Yep. Greens are rolling pretty good for this time of year, though. Just get it going online. Oh, what a par. Oh. Tell you what, I didn't really hit one good shot on that hole, but <laughs> walk over the path. <laughs> the pressure's on. No, didn't expect that after the tee shot. No. Oh, firm. Hit it through the break. <laughs> Yeah, too, too hard that one. So we got one, 42, par three. We didn't say what we're playing, we play match play. Match play. Yeah, one you, down. You picked that one up, so <laughs> you'd DQ'd if we played straight play. <laughs> so I'm one up. Okay, it's so one forty-two. So I've just got a nine iron here. It's going to be a, hopefully just a comfortable one. There's no wind today, is it really? So it's just... It's a, if anything, it's a little into us, but it's slightly uphill, so it, it plays a touch longer than the yardage. So I think that's a good club. Not to help you at all. Add a little left of the pin, but pretty good. Yeah, yep. caught a bit Sorry. of the green there. Like Should leave me a uphill putt. I've got one more club than you. I think it's just a soft eight, which is about 150 for me, really. But okay, I'm fine. Oh, I'm normal. Sounds good. Got the got the talk. Let's see it. on a pretty similar line to mine. A little bit more left. Might catch some of the green. Just off, I think. That's all right. Not too bad. Okay, so John's just missed the green. The flag is over there. My ball is, well, I've marked it, so hopefully you can see my marker just there. So I've probably got, yeah, maybe a little bit more than 15 feet. So what club have you got, John? I've got a nine iron. I'm just trying to land it about a yard on the green and let it run like a putt and it comes off the left so I'm just trying to read this as much as I can like a putt. Well, I'm expecting a good shot here now then, the way you've talked that one up. It's, <laughs> it's a pretty simple one but... Uh, oh don't say that. Oh no. <laughs> oh he's played it well. Ooh, that oh, close. was very nicely done Mr Watts. Thank you. I reckon I'll give you that. You're a kind man. Yeah, it's a good foot. I've seen you miss those, but I'll give you that one. <laughs> okay, so Chris is lining up his birdie putt. He's got about 15 foot, a little uphill, and a bit from the left. How far outside the left do you think this one is, Chris? Well, you just read it for me. <laughs> you just told me it's over outside, outside the left. No, so it's, I reckon it's probably... Well, I'm going to go... We're going to see it from this angle. Whatever you call it, we're seeing it. Six, seven inches. Okay. That's Whoa. going to miss just a little low. That moved quite a lot, actually. It did swing. I will give you that one, though. Take that one away. Good par. Thank you. Whole hard. Good par for this one, Chris. We four, got four, four, four. Four, four, four. Your favourite driver. Looks pretty straight. 
Yeah, plays for ideally a little bit of draw from the right. Yeah, pretty straight up there. Okay. Right, it's going to pretty much hit drive at the middle again. Leaking right. Quite a bit right. That wasn't great. Got to be a bit lucky. Didn't quite in the middle, it hit it off at the heel, which is probably why it moved a bit to the right. I need to get a bit lucky like I did on the first hole. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm one down, so hopefully not. <laughs> you going the same sort of shot? Same shot, yeah. I'm trying to tee up a little bit more over here on the left. Aiming down that right side and just trying to get that ball moving a little bit right to left, ideally. Okay. When you're a shorter hitter as me, you need that extra bit of distance with the draw. <laughs> you know that short. About a 250 carry-ish. That's perfect. Absolutely spot on, that's right at the middle. Good drive. Right, so we are between the 12th fairway and the uh, 10th. The wrong hole basically. <laughs> Chris missed that one a little right, so he's trying to, I'll try and show you, he's trying to go a low little uh, punch shot in that gap there. He can't hit it very far. I guess he only really wants to hit it 40, 50 yards back to the fairway, but he's got to keep it pretty low and quite accurate. He's done well. He's done very well. So he's got that Didn't one out. Have, he's got it back on the fairway. Didn't have a lot of choice there, did I really? That was my only option, so. Yeah. Got to try and get up and down. Oh. Pretty good. I've got a four iron here. I think a little into the wind, if anything. Towards the water I mentioned. Oh no, the one that wasn't in play. On the bank. <laughs> <laughs> that water that wasn't in play. That water that didn't come in play. Oh dear, yeah. don't mind. Right, so my ball is up there. I don't know if you can see it, a little bit further up the fairway. So I managed to get my back into play. So I've got probably 130, 140? Yeah, maybe a little less. Okay. So, did you get a yardage on this one, Chris? I'll get about, I reckon about 135. Okay. The flag looks if it's quite close to the front. So I've it just is. Got uh, 53 degree wedge. You've got a little bit of a bank behind it, so I it doesn't matter if it lands a little long. Okay. It should feed back to that pin. Right, I've got 135 mid, so if I can hit this 130, then, which is what about what I hit this club, so. Okay. Yep. Just a little left. Is it going to catch some of the green? Just a little short left as well. You might see that. So Not just very a good. Chip and run left. Not very good. I didn't really hit that hard enough, did I? I needed to give that a four. <laughs> one, I didn't. Yeah. So John's missed his to the right over there. So he's got that left. There's a the flag. Hasn't got loads of green to work with. Um, no. So he's hopefully, probably I can land this just a little short of the green. Okay, so I'm going to try and rely on a little bit of a bounce. So I'm guessing he's got one of his wedges over there. Oh, go, 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 go. Okay, well, it's crept onto the green just about, left him with probably 12 feet for a par. I'm just going to try and just chip it onto the green. Hopefully it release a little bit. Yep. A little uphill to the flag. Don't want to land it short, I don't think, because it's no, into you. It. So just onto the green. Got some room to work with there, you can see. Just a little long. Just a little long. Probably got, uh, let's zoom in over there for you, probably got around four feet or so, swinging a little bit from the right, left. 
and you can see then mine just crept onto the edge of the green around 12 foot. Five. That was a five. You got oh, this. I got this for a half. Oh yes, with your chip out. Your... Right edge and firm, I think. Hey, well done. Well oh, done. Not a great hole for me, but you got lucky there. Right, so that is the end of part one. So we've played holes 10, 11 and 12, and I'm one up. Um, not a great start though, you've made not two bogeys, I've made one bogey. Yeah. So we're going to do part two now, which is holes 13, 14, 15, and we definitely need some better golf. <laughs> better we things to some come. Better golf. So <laughs> fingers crossed we're going to play some better golf. So make sure you go and watch part two, make sure you also subscribe to my channel, make sure you like, make sure you comment, all that kind of stuff, and also go and check out John's channel as well. So it's called True Golf Academy? It is, yeah. Only just started, got a couple of videos on there now, but certainly going to be putting more videos up going forward. Yeah, so. lots recorded guys, so please do check it out. Is that a teaser? Yes. Is that a teaser? <laughs> Loads recorded, all to come. So make sure you check out John's channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel, and also go and watch part two. Right. Cheers. Game on.